Hey parents, happy Teenager Tuesday. Uh, welcome back to a series that we're going through. Um, uh, my name is Will, and with me is Kristen Zimmerman. You Hello. can email her at kzimmerman at hopefellowship.net. Yeah, might be the longest email here. Okay, dog. You know something about you that I think everybody should know? Um, nope. You are the grill queen. Smoker. Yeah, you can yeah. cook anything. Almost, yeah. Oh, you grill too, don't you? Yeah, I do. A little bit of everything, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Our favorite meal that Kelsey and I got when we had the food train, when we had uh, Ruth, um, was the meat that you cooked. I'm so it excited It was so about that. good. A little oh tri-tip, my. everyone. I love tri-tip. It's so good. I made some tri-tip. Like, uh, I think I'd talk about food too much on here, but... Uh, all right, enough about food. Okay, uh, we're talking about care, and uh, we've been talking about caring for your students and, and kind of talking through some tensions and questions that have popped up with, with parents. And now uh, let's talk about caring for your students' friends, caring for your students' friends. Uh, this week is going to be kind of some pointers. Next week we're going to hit on some some more, uh, I guess, on the legal side. Or, mm-hmm. I mean, if you, if you get in some, you know, you overhear something dangerous, what do you do? Um, but to, but today is, is a little little bit more kind of quick hitter pointers on there. Uh, number one on caring for your students' friends is uh, seems obvious, but get to know their friends. Yeah. Get to know them. Have them over for dinner. Uh, meet them where you know when you go to school. Uh, drop off stuff for the team. Meet them in band. Like um, you know, if if your student isn't currently saying names out loud, find out what names they know at school that they're close with, and then just get to know them. It, it kind of goes into what we say off and on, uh, which is be a student of your student. Mm-hmm. I I think, and Pastor John says all the time uh, that show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Yep. And if that constantly we see that to be true in our student ministry here and so man it would be good for us to know the people our students are with because probably a sign of their future you know yeah. or potential future yeah it's yeah. also good to know uh <laughs> what their friends values are and what that your students values are and if they're yeah. changing yes. um i'll go to number two ask about their friends more than criticizing their friends yeah um, and so one of the things I have on here is don't judge book by its cover. Mm. Um, even if they present themselves in a certain way, uh, more than likely they are not going to be what you're expecting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've, I've done that many times and it's really hard because your first thought is like, oh, wow, they look like a bad seed. Um, but most of the time they're not. And sometimes <laughs> they're sweet and it's just they have this hard exterior and, you know, you just know, don't know what you're getting into in the middle. Yeah, that's true. I, my childhood best friend, uh, and we got in trouble in middle school. We did. And he got me, uh, my, his parents were like, they called me Billy when I was a kid. His parents were like, Billy's a bad influence. My parents were like, Ben's a bad influence. And uh, I, I remember my dad specifically saying like how dumb some of my friends are mm-hmm. and thinking like, what? No, my friends are awesome. Like, don't you don't even know. You know, and, and then I would, I'm like defensive before, you know, versus like, Hey, get, get to know them a little bit more and then prod prod with questions on that too. Yeah. Oh, and I meant to say, Ben was one of the primary reasons that I became a Christ follower. Even yeah. getting into all of the mess that we did in middle school. Yeah. He's one of the primary Christ influences. I saw the best uh, t-shirt on a middle schooler once in middle school groups and the back of it said, under construction. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Uh, which kind of leads us to number three is point to family values as you point to specific behaviors. Uh, like if you, we encourage all the time, have family values. Uh, if you can, have family values before family rules, because then you can just umbrella all kinds of behavior under the values, which we don't necessarily, we want rules. Well, really, we put rules in place to affirm a value. Um, anyways, even if we don't articulate that uh, all the time, but um, it, it's cool to point out, hey, I've noticed so-and-so does da-da-da, you know? Like yeah. um, a, a one mom at uh, Prosper, mom and dad, they, I think they've done a fantastic job of pointing out things in their son's friendships mm-hmm. that they like. That's They're like, good. oh, we love how uh, Troy, so da 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 yeah. Hey, we love when... But, 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 you know, um, yeah. when they invite and they seem so caring and they seem, oh, you know what? They seem similar to you in this way. Like, it's it's a very cool, it's almost like an encouragement mm-hmm. for the student uh, by encouraging their friends. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it makes them want to hang out with those people, too. That's true. Yeah. Versus, like, don't hang out with them. Right. Yeah. Because then just, this is a positive. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm getting affirmation right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number four, talk to them about mean friends. Yeah. Um, help them see when they are being devalued. And so one of the questions I have that goes with this is, are your friends making you doubt your worth? Hmm. And so like, as soon as you get home and you have to look in the mirror and you're saying like, oh, well, so-and-so said that my hair didn't look good or my outfit didn't look good. Like you're already kind of in that. So your friends are being me. They're not uplifting you. Friends should be uplifting. Um, and so then as a parent, reminding them what God says about them and then back that up with scripture. Yeah. Yeah. And this is guys and girls. Yeah, for sure. I, I was, I, I'm a guy, so I can, it, it seems like guys joke about it more and mean it less. And then sometimes it seems like girls mean it more, but then joke about it. Yeah. Girls, that... are, girls they always mean it, even yeah. if they're joking. Oh. And yeah, it's kind of sad, actually. Girls are mean. They're yeah. brutal, especially when they're younger. Yeah. Um, and guys, I will say something about um, guys and like feeling their worth and stuff we've actually had a lot of students that have come up with body image issues that are mm. males which mm. yeah. you don't really hear about a lot mm. and so a lot of times it's when they're too skinny yeah 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 that's true yeah more than like weight like i weigh too much it, it tends to be from my experience anyways yeah, yeah. I, i've talked with more guys who are like i'm not big enough like yeah, yeah you can't muscle play sports whatever. Or, right. yeah yeah um and that's a big thing of like i think you have this persona. It's like the same way, like God, guys don't talk about their feelings. It's the same kind of. Situation. Yeah, we do. We say good. Well, <laughs> me, too. <laughs> me too. Me yeah. too. How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number five. Point out where your friends, uh, where when a sorry. Point out when a friend changes their behavior. Uh, there was a high school girl, and she started dating a guy, and the whole family, they ended up breaking up because her sisters, uh, she she had three sisters, and her mom and dad were all said, not together in one place, but kind of separately, you act really different. You don't act mm. like you when you're around him. Interesting. Like, it's weird. Like, you yeah. don't, you seem a little more timid when you're around him. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of goes a little bit to, like, point out the good things in friendships mm -hmm. that friendships pull out, but also observe how, maybe how does your student change? Yeah. Because maybe they change for the better. Maybe they change for the worse. You know, maybe they... Uh, maybe they, they're, for me, I, I was a huge people pleaser. So I would change depending on the friend group that I was around because I'm like, I want to be who they would accept. Yeah. So I'm going to just act however I can act. And as parents, do we ever point that out? Hey, I've noticed that when you're around blank, you seem to blank, you know? Yeah. Which sometimes can be great, but yeah. sometimes not because, yeah. you know, you're not who you really are. Mm -hmm. But it's like talking with people, especially like constructive criticism, let's say, for instance, in your adult life, sometimes you do have to change the way you talk to different people um but that doesn't mean you have to change who you are yeah yeah so. it's true uh number six speak life encourage their friends too um so this is something i think is super important asking about their family life um sometimes you'd be surprised to find out that they come from a really broken home hmm. Um, they don't have, they might have a mom or dad, but they don't have a relationship with their mom and dad. Yeah. Um, their parents work a lot. They don't have like, some kids have to go home and eat mac and cheese for dinner because their parents just don't do anything with them. Yeah. Um, you might be the only mom or dad figure in their, you know, so when they come to your house, they're actually like looking for that kind of a uh, relationship. Um, and the other thing is you might be the only religious person they know. Yeah. And so, like, seeing, like, leading by example and, like, being that in your house and with your values and stuff like that, um, that might be the only time that they see that. Hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's true and so good. I remember there was a, a family, the Heinzes, who we were still super connected with them. Actually, they, from Waco, uh, you know, we knew them in high school in Waco, and now they live a mile and a half from us. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Robin Heinz, she looks after our daughter when we go on dates and stuff because she's so close. Yeah. Well, Mark too. Uh, just Robin hogs Ruth and holds her all the time. Um, <laughs> but I remember going to their house uh, when I really became friends with their um, oldest daughter and, and son. Uh, son's one of my best friends still. And I remember thinking like, man, I would love to have a family like this because they, they had such a healthy dynamic. And then I remember asking Mark about like, hey, what are you, what are, and I remember Mark like complimenting me on, man, I just know you you work really, really hard. And I was like, I do. Thank you. You know, just pointing it out. Like, yeah, their friends 
uh, absolutely encourage our, our kids. Yeah. There, it might mean in the moment, maybe it might mean more for their friends to have an encouragement from yeah. you as a parent. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, number seven, last thing for today, is get to know their friends or uh, get to know their parents. Get to know the friends, uh, your students, friends, parents. Did I say that right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you kind of mentioned that a little bit in in one of the previous episodes, with, with that, right? You're like, send me their number. Yes. Yes. And their address. And their address. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, if you don't, if you know the, the teenager, sometimes getting to know their parents helps you realize, oh, have one of those moments about yeah. the friend who is like best friend to your teenager or something like that. Yeah. There's it, actually been times that I've um, seen them like in grocery stores or something because I haven't met them like. Bella's brought stuff, uh, Bella, my daughter, uh, has brought people home from school. Like, hey, can my friend come home from school with me? I'm like, sure. This is when she was in school. And some girl would just come over and I'm like, does your mom know you're here? And she's like, yeah. And so like, can I call her? And so I'd like talk and she's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Because we live like less than half a mile from school. And we'd be in the grocery store and we'd be walking down and she's like, oh my gosh, they're so-and-so. And then I'd see the mom and then like the mom's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me in your home. And like, you just never know who, who yeah. they are until yeah. you meet them. And yeah. so anyways, it's pretty cool meeting other parents. Parents yeah. are cool, guys. They're awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's all for today. <laughs> um, uh, always remember, uh, you can do this. You're not alone. God is with you and so are we. Make sure that you tune in next week uh, for some very interesting questions and scenarios that you'll want to hear about. We'll see you.